Hey guys, this is Louie. Today I'm going to be installing DRT Fabrication's new 05 and up Tacoma rear shackle hangers. I'm just going to let uh, these parts here speak for themselves in the quality. DRT stamp. Nice and thick plate. Awesome welds. These are the new actual shackles themselves with the grease fitting on both, of course. And then it comes with all new hardware to secure them to the frame. These bolts here are trimmed down at the top and stamped with his logo uh, to clear the swing here of the new shackles against the new hangers. All right, I'm gonna get the truck pulled in here and we'll get started. Let me just say one more thing. When you're starting a project like this, line up all the hardware and everything that comes in the kit to make sure that everything is there. It'd be terrible if you were halfway into a job and you realize that maybe you were missing a um, special piece of hardware like this or something else. This kind of stuff, sure, you could run to the hardware store and grab, but just line everything up and stay organized and make sure everything's there before you start. Step one, pull the e-brake. Step two, make sure you chalk the front tires. All right, now we're gonna get this thing jacked up. All right, next is one of the most important parts and that is placing your jack stands. Now that we have the truck jacked up, it's time to take the tires off. So this is what we're going to be removing this here and of course this little shackle here. What I'll have to do is remove the leaf pack to get it out of the way and then I will have to cut and punch each one of these rivets out. One, two, three, and four. These two have a rivet on the other side, of course, that has a welded washer. So I may end up having to drill those out, but these I will be able to punch through.
And lastly, you wanna undo the lower shock bolt so that you can droop the axle down and get the leaf pack out. You also want to be really careful when you're doing this and make sure that you don't lower the axle too far down so that this leaf pack just drops because what it'll do is it'll tip forward or backwards and it can damage the shaft of the shock or something else. So you just have to be really careful. Now that we have the leaf pack and all the hardware out of the way, we can get to cutting these rivets. So what I'm gonna do is take the angle grinder and cut down and across, kind of like a cross pattern, so that it's easier to bust the rivets out with the air hammer. All right, so I'm gonna start cutting these rivets out, but first, I got all dressed up. Always wear a face shield. Always wear ear protection. Always wear something on your hands. You don't want to go deaf when you're 30. And you don't want flying metal in your eyes. What I'm probably gonna end up doing is cutting this out so that I can better get to these rivets. Now that that's all done, it's time to get one of my favorite tools, the air hammer. Little tool tip, when you're using air tools, always make sure before you use it, you add a few drops of oil. That's just to keep longevity of your tools and ensure they're working properly. I went ahead and cleaned this rust that was behind the bracket where the rivets were. And I'm just gonna hit it with some steel it, some black, so that I can just prevent any further rust. On the left here, we have obviously the stock hanger. And to the right, we have DRTs. Just take a look at the stock hanger, how thin that it is. Nothing's reinforced at all. Again here, super thin material. And then the DRT hanger, super thick, very strong. 
and all reinforced down here. And now let's take a look at the hanger, which I put somewhere. Where did I put that? Oh, okay, here we go. So we have the stock hanger, and then we have the DRT hanger. Again, see little details like this, it's boxed, the DRT. Heavier, stronger, thicker material. Now we are looking at the rear of the leaf pack where the new hangers are going to be located. This is going to be the inward side of the leaf pack and the outward side of the leaf pack. So what you want to do is you want to take your new shackle and this silver bolt with the DRT stamp and you want to feed this bolt through the new hanger from the inward side facing out so that this part uh, doesn't make contact with the new hanger once you have it installed. So you have to do this first before you install the leaf pack. And then for greasing these, according to the instructions, you wanna grease this fitting until grease starts coming out of these little holes here. It took me about two to three pumps. I use white uh, prothane grease. It's super good stuff very water resistant, lasts a long time. So I took the excess that came out of here and just rubbed it on the outside of the bushing. Now this is ready to be installed. One thing I did off camera was I lowered the spare tire that I have so that it's easier to get to these hangers and install them. And now I'm gonna try to fish this heavy leaf pack in here without knocking the tripod and the camera over. So. Bear with me. Marty bumping the camera. All right. Oh. So now this is semi-balanced on here. I'm gonna grab the other hardware and put that together. And this bolt doesn't have to face the same way as the other one. Um, it actually goes in just like this. Let me see if I can install this without, okay. There we go. That wasn't too shabby lab. Now this leaf pack can't tip over and destroy me. I went ahead and fished this leaf pack in here. You can see I have it secured here. I don't have it tightened down yet. I don't have this tightened down yet. Now I need to put the U-bolts back and bolt the leaf pack to the front mount. All right, so the DRT mount is in. Looks awesome, super beefy. And then we'll go on over to the stock one. And I'm just gonna do a time-lapse pretty much of this entire other side since I showed you everything on the other one. 
and then I'll take a few shots afterwards. I'm going to go ahead and explain the proper way and the way DRT describes to remove these lower rivets. I tried punching them out. I ended up doing it, but what happened was, is I bent this back cross member bracket, not majorly. I was able to kind of bolt and cinch it down together on the other side. But what uh, comes in the kit is this basically a QR code and you scan it and it brings up some instructions. One of the things it mentions, is using some kind of clamp. I'm gonna use vice grips. And I wanna clamp that cross member to the frame and then drill the rivet out um, so that I don't cause any damage to anything in there. So I'm gonna do it the right way this time. I was just a little bit distracted making a video. So let's do it right. You saw how long it took for me to drill out these two lower rivets. I center punched and then I used a quarter inch and then I went to a half inch per instructions. And you saw the vice grip. I had that clamped down so that nothing flexed or got bent out of shape. Now I have the frame painted over where the rust was and I'm just gonna wait for that to dry and then I will finish assembling. Here we are under the truck after it's been on its own weight and I went around and double checked the torque on every bolt. I went ahead and added these blue hash marks so I can tell just by looking down the line if anything comes loose. But here they are. Let's take a look at the other side. Well, that completes the install of DRT's new 05 and up Tacoma rear shackle hangers. I'm really impressed with the quality of the parts. The first side I did, the passenger side was a little difficult because I didn't follow the instructions that DRT gave. 
and uh, was a little bit distracted again from making these videos. They are kind of uh, difficult, uh, but I went ahead and did the other side and didn't have as many problems at all because I followed the instructions. And in the next video, I'm going to be putting the truck in the dirt and putting the new parts to the test. Thanks for watching.